Hello there, it's JG with Earth 5D, back for another pick a card reading, where you are the light and the light is the way. Welcome, current subscribers, and welcome new folks. I'm glad that you're here today. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I, I invite you to consider subscribing if you find value in my videos. It helps to spread the word and, and promote the channel to more viewers so that they too can use these free resources to help them. I'm glad that you're here, guys. The question today is, what do I do next in the situation? This is about your love life. It could be about a person. It could be about the situation in general. Asking spirit, what should I do next? Okay, so we have three piles to choose from. The first pile is the rose quartz. The middle pile is the stone, and the third pile is the amethyst. So take a moment, guys, and choose your pile. What should I do next about this person, about the situation regarding your love life? Feeling stuck? Don't know what to do, right? Guys, if you haven't found me over on Instagram, the link is down below. And if you're interested in my spiritual teachings and my perspective on tarot and life in general, um, the link is down below to my Earth 5D University channel. Feel free to join me over there for a little variety of content. A different variety. Okay then, let's start with pile one. Hello everyone, if you chose pile one, welcome to your reading. We're asking the question, what should I do next in love? Regarding my love life, feeling stuck, confused, don't know what to do. Let's take a look. We have the five of swords. Eight of wands. have the King of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups. The Hangman. If you guys are new to the channel, I put the Major Arcana up here, which is kind of like the foundation of the reading. We have the Magician. We have the Nine of Wands, Eight Nine of Wands, interesting. And we have Playfulness. What should I do next in this love situation? Okay guys, so first of all, I can tell with the Five of Swords that you're feeling pretty uh, torn inside of yourself. So I know that you're probably very, you know, feeling like this, conflicted, like, you know, pile one, what should I do? It's like you're fighting yourself on this. And I feel like if you are fighting yourself on this, it's suspending you, you know, it's, it's keeping you hanging there in your love life. So I'll go through some different scenarios since there's so many different scenarios when it comes to love. So one scenario is if you are single, I feel like you're bringing some conflict um, from the past here into the connection which is making this, this your love life kind of feeling suspended, like nothing is happening. If that is the case, it's time for a new point of view, right? It's time to manifest this love into your life because I do feel like there is a, a suitor out there for you. And I do feel like they're very um, financially stable and they have this love for you. I feel like the that you might already know this person if you're single, guys. I just kind of have that feeling. So come at this with a playful attitude. That's what you should do next. It's kind of like have some faith here that you have the power to manifest this, that you are a powerful manifester. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, of fun to shine. So this is about being flirty and flirtatious when this person comes into your life. I do feel like it's going to happen quickly with the Eight of Wands. 
this is a connection that you'll want to defend. So if some of you have been feeling like beat up and just been through so much in your love life, it's now time to um, take a risk, take a chance, and allow yourself to receive this uh, manifestation that you've been working on. Okay, guys, so there's something really grounded about your new uh, love connection that's coming. And this person has a very uh, youthful side to them as well, and they'll respond very well to your playfulness. So if, if some of you have been wondering, you know, should I flirt? And the answer is yes. Okay, guys, so what you should do next, if you're not single and you're currently in a connection, then um, it's time for a new point of view. So I feel like you might need to take a step back and uh, refocus, refocus because there's something new here that wants to manifest in your connection. And it's very passionate, okay? This is about, uh, it's a sexual energy actually, a creative sexual energy. So if the two of you have been fighting a lot and you feel like you're just missing each other, like two ships passing in the night, there's there's um, new energy to be found with, the, with this bit of playfulness. So I feel like that's something that you might not are you might not be used to or it's been a while since you brought this playful attitude to the connection but that's something that spirit's really focusing on here is that it's okay to be sweet it's okay to show your love it's okay even if you guys have been really focused on working really hard and building your finances maybe your person's actually quite stubborn that can also be or you're stubborn now's the time to soften this connection with playful flirting having uh, just a romantic night where you're able to uh, have some good sex, right? Some good lovemaking and really um, bring this connection into a new perspective because there's a whole wave of energy I'm feeling, a whole, um, it's almost like a gateway of new energy I see for you, for both of you, whether you're single or not. So, Now's not the time to be stodgy and stubborn either way, whether you're single or not. Now is the time to allow yourself to be flexible, to see things in a new way, and to manifest this joyful connection, this love connection. So this is about passion, being passionate, and this is about not getting hung up, fighting yourself, okay? Allow this new perspective in. So some of you have just been working too hard on this and you need to kind of like chillax if you've been trying to manifest a new love or a new phase of your connection with your person. Just take it easy for a sucky. The next thing to do is to chillax, to play a little bit, to flirt a little bit, to allow the sexual passion to flow. Yeah. And to really get an idea with the magician here of what you want to happen next. Get an, get an image of it. So this is what you do the very next step. And then the following step, right? This is step one. Step two is to really um, use visualization to implement this. So if you don't have someone in mind, you know, what do you want that person to look like? Go through all of your law of attraction um, tips and techniques, right? To really think about your ideal person that's for some of you. And then, yeah, for those of you who are in a, a really stable commitment, just remember, you know, change is constant in commitments. So there's change up ahead. You, you know, if you hold on to the past, I feel like it's going to bite you in, in the butt. So move forward with this connection. Yeah, by changing your perspective. I feel like that king sometimes represents stodginess, stubbornness, to change. So your intention is creating reality. And so use the power of attention to focus on the things that you want instead of what you don't want. Okay, pile one. All right, let's get some charms.
so for some of you too guys if you chose pile one i feel like if you want to if you if you are working and you're single and you're working on manifesting someone into your love life consider uh, fixing up your house and going on that kind of creating that um that diet or like really work on i'm sorry my kids are in the background <laughs> really it's almost back to school time um really work on the things that you want to change about yourself to, to be in this connection. And it could be something very different than, than you're used to. Like for instance, uh, the, I always feel the best when I'm on a vegan diet. And um, it was like I, I, I had children, you know, and I was pregnant for, for quite a while, two young little girls right now. And um, it was like, I forgot about what I really enjoy eating during those times. And then it's taken me a while to go vegan again, but now that I have, I just feel really good about, really good, uh, not only about myself, but I feel really good physically. So um, now's the time to start implementing the things that you really want to do for yourself, to feel good about yourself. Because when you feel good about yourself, guys, that's naturally going to emanate throughout your life, including your relationships and future relationships. I know that sounds kind of cliche, but it couldn't be more true. Okay, so create some variety in your life, this is saying with that charm. If you're feeling sad, there's no need. If you're feeling shy, there's no need. Allow yourself to kind of step out of your shell. We have a B here, take it resonates. Music right now is really important with this guitar. It could mean that just that you um, join something online that has to do with your the music that you like. It could just be meaning sharing music with your loved one. Um, something about listening to music and uplifting your vibration with that is going to bring new passion, okay? A new perspective. Sometimes song can just really change your whole perspective, right? It has the power to do that, at least for me. Music is super impactful for me in terms of my energy. Okay, so you have your light family here. You also have a lot of support from the angel world. So just know that the next step that you take, this next step that you take to be more passionate and more playful and see things from a new perspective and to manifest what you've been wanting, what you truly want, not what you don't want. Um, you just have a lot of su support from the other side with that. So the next person that comes into your life, if you're single, is going to be very important to you, very important in your reality here so with the number 10 it feels like that could be speaking of october okay as being a significant time for you and so if you feel like you're just reeling you know and like just spinning in your love life things are going to get better things are going to become more playful okay pile one so let's get to the last bit of advice what kind of energy this pile one need to focus on to bring this into their reality here. Okay, so with this cause and effect card, you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. So make sure that your thoughts are focused on love and focused on having instead of not having. So it's really easy for us to accidentally get fixed on what we don't want because we see what we don't want all over the place. And so in order to change that dynamic, we need to focus on what we do want because that will grow. What you focus on grows. Okay, Pile One, so that is the message for you. Make sure you drop a comment below. I care how this impacts you. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you find value in my content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It helps it grow. It helps the message get out there. So I really appreciate that. Thank you for being here and much love and light to you all. All right. Bye for now, pile one. of charms here. Oh, 
I hope the Divine Feminine doesn't feel like that. That's a symbol for the Divine Feminine in my readings. I'm actually sitting a little further back than I normally do. I think I'm going to scoot a little bit closer. There we go. Okie dokie. If you chose pile two, welcome to your reading, guys. I'm glad you're here. We're asking the question, what should I do next? My love life. What action should I take? What should I do? Right? So often we feel stuck and we just like, I don't know what to do, right? I can relate. Okay, take a look. Finding the first card here, guys. Starting with keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this is super clear direction, right, guys? Keep an open mind. So if you're currently in a situation and you're in a relationship or if you're single keep an open mind because your person might be very different than you and they might behave differently than you and they might think differently than you and so it's important for the next step is to be open okay we have the hangman so this is like seeing things from a different perspective right time to see things from a new perspective we have the five of coins. I'm going to keep going here, guys, and just pull all of them out. All right. So we have the nine of pentacles. The queen of cups. The three of cups. The moon, beautiful. King of Wands. Oh boy, Four of Wands. So some of you might be in a divine union and have a twin flame dynamic. Usually in my readings, guys, that's what that card symbolizes. Okay, that was, oh, one more card. Actually two more cards here. You guys got more cards than everyone else. Queen of Swords. And the King of Cups. So we have a divine union here. So if you chose uh, Pile 2, guys, um, the thing you should know here, whether you're single or not, is that you have what it seems to be is like a twin flame union here. So this is someone who mirrors you and who you have a very deep, deep, deep lifelong, multi-lifetime connection with through different consciousnesses, through different space and time. You've known each other. Cycling, cycling through lifetimes is what I'm seeing. So you guys are very divinely matched up. You could also have very, very strong water sign energy Especially with the moon it's like the moon and then the king and queen of cups it's just like this watery energy it's very intuitive so you're being asked to use your intuition and to allow that your intuition to guide you next pile two that's very important here so be aware that you do have a divine union and they, your person's likely to very much differ from you and now that is extremely common <laughs> All these twin flame relationships bringing polarities together, closing the gap from extreme masculine to extreme feminine and bringing that together. So the polarity usually exists in, in terms of like the dynamics present in the connection. So we also have some fire energy and air energy. So there's quite a bit of well-developed energy here. So 
be mature about this wherever you are guys whether you're single or not take a more mature approach it does seem to me that like you've been feeling like you're on the outside looking in no matter what whether you're in a connection or not and so this is a sad you know sad card and i'm sorry you're feeling like that for some of you take what resonates but this this time of like aloneness is really bringing a sense of new perspective it's it's calling you to a place where you're able to tune into how how you truly feel and so this might look like saying yes to someone that you were contemplating like i don't know maybe we're fighting too much you know or there's just too much too too different maybe you guys are just too different or on the other hand too much alike right that can also do it cause a lot of conflict um but just know that this person is of value to you and it's making you uh, be more powerful. So for some of you, I think you will be single and just know your value, know your worth. And so your next step needs to be taken from that place of owning your value, owning your worth, not settling just because something's convenient. So this is the energy of not settling and understanding your value. Okay, guys, so let's see. What else is next? What should you do next? Allow your charisma to shine. Allow yourself to be very decisive. Okay, and allow yourself to have fun. Three of Cups. Allow yourself to celebrate. So for, for very few of you, the person you might meet next or the person that you're inquiring about that you uh, already know or could be in a relationship with they might have another partner that i believe you would already know about this isn't like the big reveal that your person's in a third party relationship this would be something that you would already know about so if you don't know about it then that's, that message is not for you so if you do know about it then i do feel like this person um, is starting to begin to understand that you are in a divine union and i feel like they are beginning to see your value even more and are taking a new perspective and might likely be making a decision here about you very soon so your next step is to keep an open mind right keep an open mind with that and allow yourself to really be guided by so the moon card here i really do feel strongly this is about divine feminine watery energy so this is about going in the depths of your kind of like your psyche the depths of your core belief systems and allow yourself to just be open-minded see this from a different perspective so things are kind of suspended right now if you're feeling like things are suspended and you're just like totally stuck or feeling hopeless or alone just know that you're coming into union with your person whether you Kind of whether you know it or not is what I'm hearing. So yeah, you're coming into union with your person. So um, your person also might be very charismatic, but this is like the energy of an actor or someone who's very vibrant and who's so very like, almost like in the public eye, it might not be, his name might not be in lights, but for some of you, they might be. Um, if they're not, then this is just someone who has a lot of charisma people really uh, love their warmth okay so just know that you are worthy of that you're worthy of this person's attention you're worthy of their care you're worthy of kindness okay guys so if some of you uh, have been talking with someone for a long time and you're like should we move in together yes if some of you have been wondering about marriage, you know, I do feel like keep an open mind with that. I do feel like commitment is on the table here. If some of you, like I said, are single, I don't feel like you're going to be single for very long. So the thing to do next is to use your intuition, keep an open heart and open mind and you know, just be positive that this new point of view is to serve you. So if you are feeling like, man, I'm just stuck here. Mm -mm, no, it's causing movement forward. So allow yourself to have fun and allow yourself to receive this 
divine union, this twin flame union, if you believe in that, if you relate to that, the energy is very significant. The energy kind of template to that is very unique. Okay, guys. All right, so I'm going to pull a card, another card, to find out what energy you need to bring into the situation to get your best results if you're feeling stuck. Okay, you got two cards. We have tolerance and patience. <laughs> I know some of you are going to go nuts when you see that. I saw in the comments from my last video that, um, you know, if, if you get patient one more time, you're going to like totally pop off and like go crazy. But in this situation, it, you're being asked to be patient with your person and to be tolerant. And if you're not in a connection, be patient and tolerant about this process because it is very divinely guided, your next steps. So love is here. Okay, the divine union is here. It's just a matter of being tolerant, being patient with yourself and others. And this is probably the new perspective that you need, you know. This is the next thing that needs to happen. Because remember, guys, if you chose Pal 2, everything is energy. Everything begins with thought, mentalism, and then it becomes matter, right? It begins with uh, a wave right it begins it begins with energy and then it becomes matter mass all righty let us dig into your charms <laughs> okay these charms are like some of them just fly out so um, this is a little otter. This is about being playful. Again, a water creature. So I'm just feeling like there's a lot of water energy here. So it could be that you and your person, just for confirmation, verification, are uh, really in tune with that water energy. All right, this is a power up from Mario. So this, this next step is gonna power you up. We have a J and an O and a T. Okay, with that Three of Cups, this is about celebration, this little maraca. This is about festivity, so if you are single, you might just be meeting this person at a gathering since people are starting to gather again. This is about a third eye awakening. If, um, so this is about consciousness building, guys. Building consciousness, six, three, and oh, double moon. So. Trust your intuition on this, all right, guys? It's imperative. I do feel like some of you are really going to move in with each other. So this is about having a lifelong partner. So I wouldn't be surprised if both of you are water signs. But we do also, like I said, we do have um, fire and we do have air as well. Oddly, though, oh, yeah, we do have the five of pentacles. So there's a little bit of earth here, but it doesn't. It, don't get hung up on that, okay, guys? If that doesn't resonate with you. So um, you guys are star seeds, so you know each other from a different time, space, reality, like I was telling you. That's a verification. So this is about a new passionate beginning. If it's been cold, if it's been frosty, uh, if your love life's been cold, and the, or you guys have been arguing and it's been frosty, and things are going to um, warm up again. There's a lot of depth here with the moon. This is about knowing that the next thing is deep okay it's not like a super superfluous it's not just like eh, whatever the next thing that's going to happen is deep and it's going to power you up okay so be tolerant and be patient with yourself and your person because this is a very very special time for you guys pile two okay all right, that's what I have for you today, Pile 2. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, guys, and drop a comment below. I care about how you feel. I am available for private readings if you need assistance. Information is down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, would love it if you would consider that. It helps the channel grow, and it also helps other people get this, get the support, right? Get the help. If you're finding value with this content, you know? All right, pal, too. Well, 
Thank you so much for coming here. Many blessings to you, and we will see you in the next reading. So I'm being noticed again. I'm being um, shown, and I'm noticing this house. So for some of you, the next step is moving in. If that you know, fits with your current situation, then yes. All right. Bye for now, then, pile two, folks. Okay then guys, if you chose the amethyst, welcome to your reading, my friends. Glad you're here today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're a current subscriber or current visitor of Earth 5D, welcome back. All right, we're asking the question, what should I do next? What should I do next in this love situation? All right, the first energy we have coming out here is Seven of Swords. So this is about being honest with yourself. We have Soulmate. The High Priestess. So trust your intuition. That's what's happening next. Believe in your intuition. We have the Knight of Swords. We have Justice. I can hear little voices in the background. Those are children, not little munchkins. <laughs> the world. What should I do next? The world. You should believe in yourself that you can have it all, literally. Believe that there's justice coming. Believe, just know that what you do next Go big, you know, they always say go big or go home in the United States. You know, I feel like this is about you really riding in and taking like dun, 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 charging forward for justice. What you should do next is to stand up for what you believe in, in this love situation. So if some of you are asking, you're single and you're asking what you should do next, put yourself out there. Sometimes the world to me is like the world wide web. Um, if you would, if you would like to consider that, I do feel like that wouldn't be a bad idea for you. Um, whatever you do, trust your intuition because it's going to bring you justice. So if you're in a current situation, I do feel like you're walking into having the world with this person. And I do feel like if you are single, the next person you meet, they're going to really bring you the world here. I feel like this is a, a, an immediate energy. So this is, they might be on the other side of the world. However, they might not. I feel like with card 21, the final card in the Major Arcana, um, it's about, you know, looking no further, having it absolutely all, just super happy, having it all, looking no further, not needing to look any further, getting what you want, getting justice and love currently. So I feel like that's the next thing, is to re remind yourself that, so if you have wanted to travel the world and uh, there's new places to travel that are open every day, then consider that. So this is your soulmate confirmation there. So the next thing to do is to be honest with yourself on that front. I feel as if there's something that you aren't willing to see with the seven of swords and the two of swords. So be willing to be honest with your feelings and take the next steps that you need in terms of um, using your intuition to take action. So the next steps that you need to take are tuning into your intuition in order to take a very calculated action forward in a bold manner. So this could look like a conversation or like I said, if you're single, putting yourself out there justice is around the corner guys it's like if you feel like things have been really whack and like not going good i mean this is love right here so this is partnership so what you should do next is receive a new beginning spend some time guys with the hermit spend some time if you're being called to you're being called like if you feel called to get out of a relationship pile three then take some time take some time 
and connect with source energy because it's going to give you a fresh new beginning. You do have a soulmate. This is soulmates twice. So if you chose pile three, I do feel like the soulmate energy is here. So take a step towards your soulmate. Say yes to this new beginning is what you need to do next. And if you do, what you need to do next too is if you feel like you're confused or you're unable to see something or be honest with yourself, go to source energy and take it up with source energy. Take it up with your higher self. In other words, take it up with your angels, your guides, spirit, however you identify with those higher dimensions. Because you're, you're going to get a new beginning in love, whether you're in a, a long-term commitment or not. Something is going to activate. If you, Let's say you've been in a long-term love relationship for many years. What to do next is to understand it or overstand, overstand <laughs> that there's a new beginning happening here and it's very much guided by source energy. So this is about being spiritual and what to do next is to get spiritual. Some of you, if you were... If you resonate with praying, it's about praying. It's about connecting to divinity because this is a soulmate. So the person that you're asking about, Pile 3, this is a soulmate. Got two cards that said it. So be innocent. Say yes to this partnership. There's a partnership here for you. So be honest with yourself. Take your head kind of, if you feel like your head has been in the sand, use your intuition to say yes. Say yes to doing this. It's, there's justice. So I do feel like some of you here, there's so many different scenarios, so take it resonates with yours. Some of you uh, want to exit this connection, and um, if that's the case, make sure that you pray. You know, I keep saying this, but pray about it. Make sure that you're seeing things as they really are. Make sure that that you're not like that. Make sure that you're not like that, you know, or, you know, kind of got guns blazing or knives drawn, you know. There is a new energy here for something really good, some just energy. So that's right. What was wrong being made right? Because you wouldn't need justice unless something went wrong or something was unfair. So if something was unfair the next step, the next thing you do is going to bring it right. So use your intuition to say yes, to be playful, to be like a child, be innocent. Because this is about having the world. This is about receiving the world. And it could be traveling the world. So if that makes sense for you, Pile 3, or just traveling in general, So, with the Knight of Swords, very bold communication, bold energy moving in. So, for many of you, you're going to have to take a very bold step towards your soulmate to have the Two of Cups. So, be amicable. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing with the Two of Cups. Be amicable because there's something very new here to bring justice, very spiritual. Okay, pal three, let me get you a, another card here to see what kind of energy you need to bring in. What 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 energy do you need next? It's the next step in this love. What is the next step? Hmm, interesting. Okay, some of you need to forget the past because that's over. And you need to remember that the next step you need to do shouldn't be like what you used to do that did not work, right? Forget the past. So now is the present. And the past, the present is the present and the past is already behind you. So with humility, you have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same, but on different paths. So remember to be humble when it comes to love if you're single got a new partnership coming here so use hum humility and allow yourself to you know trust yourself and trust that the person who's coming uh is is 
the one for you with the soulmate energy and you know with humility so what's the opposite of humility kind of being inflated overflated you know so just be honest with yourself here and be humble and yes and in, in the current relationship take a humble step be open Sorry, my kiddos have been a little noisy this video. Um, just feeling the energy here. Anything else, spirit? So pray about this. Use connect with spirit. Take a just take a just next step. Know that you're powerful, but remember your humility, and just know that this is about having the world, having it all. So take off the blindfold and come with an innocence. This pile three is more like an orientation. What do I do next? Reorientate yourself kind of thing. Understand that there's a partnership here. Overstand that there's a partnership here for you. That there's justice. And just walk forward. Just walk forward. Be bold. Have the conversation. Okay, pal three, that's what I'm feeling for you. Be honest. Do what's just. That's the orientation, pile three, that you're coming from. Let's get you some charms. Charm, charm, charm. All right. Yeah, and be rational too, <laughs> even though this is not about being rational. This is about being playful. Take a risk, take a gamble. Take what resonates, guys, because there's many of you here. So this is a power up from Mario, so this next step is really gonna power you up. Try not to be like primitive like a dinosaur, you don't know, try. Your person might be acting primitive like a dinosaur, and so you might need to oh, you might need to really draw upon the two of cups to remember the partnership. But for many of you, this is a new beginning in love, like I was saying, no matter what, whether you're single or not. We have a J and an S. Hmm. There's still uh, energy here that is yet to be written. So consider what you would like to create. We have an 11 here. Mm -hmm. Your light family's here. This person is a member of your light family. We have a T, J, T, S. Take what resonates with those. Your person, let's just say this. If your person is cranky, or they're just acting like a toad, just know that there's a prince under there and that there's something that's gonna be just. So it feels like if you chose pile three, someone might be in and out of your life and you're like, what the hell, what do I do next? And so if that's the case, just try and be humble and know that they're your soulmate and that the whole thing isn't written yet. And that with the high priestess in the center there, this is definitely about using magnetism so the next thing to do what should you do next magnetize the person to you use the power of intention to become magnetic okay pile there i'm just feeling if there's anything else um interestingly enough the 11 is right november Add those together, two for February. Take it resonates with that one number. Um, the, the, the dice is up on three, so um, it could be 11 3 or 3 11, March 11th. 
so this is um, this is about focusing on on what's healthy with this apple a day on, on what's fruitful okay focus what's on on what's healthy okay and it might be that humor like what you do next is like very humorous because that might really um, lighten the load and help this kind of innocence come through is what I'm hearing so there's definitely gonna be balance between the divine masculine and feminine okay pile three so in summary the next step is to um, be just and use your intuition and make a bold move forward say yes to this partnership this is a soulmate be humble okay guys and it's okay to bring some humor in it's okay to be the influencer here because there's a new beginning and so if you are single there's a new beginning here when you take a step out into the world there's a new beginning here when I hear the word olive branch when you share an, an olive branch to bring justice into the situation sometimes forgiveness brings fairness um, yes and so also uh, make sure you bring the next step to prayer so sometimes the next thing isn't an action it's an orientation so involve spirit in this so that you can take action that is quote unquote right action right so that's the summary guys so i hope this has assisted you pile three that's what i have for you today make sure you drop a comment below and let me know how this has impacted you and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel consider it today it would be great to have you as part of the earth 5d family if you're finding value in my content and if you like it make sure you like it all right i wish you all so many so much love and so many blessings and i'll see you next time bye for now